Jen Man. Let's go. Do it for the many. Msanii wa muziki ambaye makazi yake makubwa ni nchini Marekani kwa muda mrefu sana na ana siri ya Senegal. Akon anazidi kutuonesha ni jinsi gani amekuwa na impact kubwa juu ya mafanikio ya muziki wa Afrobeat tena kwa kufanya vizuri nje Afrika hasa kwa nchini Marekani na Uingereza. Msanii huyo latest interview ambayo alifanywa na Sway kwenye Sway and the Morning alieleza ni jinsi gani ambavyo alimsanii bana boy kupitia moja kati ya wafanyakazi wake kupitia Convert Music kwa kumpa push na kuhakikisha kuwa msanii huyo anapenda trend kimataifa nje ya Afrika kwa kufanya vizuri na sio hivyo tu jinsi ambavyo alimshawishi msanii David Wayback kipindi ambacho alikuwa ameanza muziki kama rapper kumshauri kurejea Afrika na kufanya muziki wa Afrobeat lakini paka sasa kufanikiwa na sio hivyo tu kuigundua talent ya msanii Wisted akiwa na umri mdogo na kuamua kumsaidia kimuziki na paka leo kwa msanii mkubwa kimataifa hajishia hapo sasa kupitia Odo Socks interview hii ni latest interview pia ambayo amefanywa msanii huyu Echo na kutolea maelezo jinsi ambavyo amefanya kazi na msanii Wisked L pamoja na kundi la kimuziki la Peace Square Wayback na kwenye maelezo yake amedai kuwa alianza kufanya kazi na msanii Wisked L tangu mwaka 2008 ambapo alimsign kufanya naye kazi kupitia Bank W na pia kulielezea kundi la Peace Square the way ambavyo katika kipindi hicho alikuwa akifanya vizuri sana na anasema lengo la kufanya kazi na Wisked pamoja na Peace Square by then ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha tu muziki wa Afrobeat unakuwa commercial yani kwamba unakuwa ni wa kibiashara zaidi tofauti na mwanzo ambavyo ilikuwa kwa ni huu ni muziki ambao kipindi wa sanimba mbalimbali walikuwa kiufanya alikuwa ni too catch so lengo lake kubwa ilikuwa ni kufanya muziki huko na penetration kubwa sana kimataifa na kufanikiwa Aikon pia kwenye maelezo yake amesema kwamba licho kwamba amefanya kazi kwa muda mrefu sana na msanii Wisked L lakini yeye amefanya kazi kwa pamoja paka mwaka wa na licho kuwa hakuwa amemsign moja kwa moja na hata kwenye ile interview Yesu alisema kwamba aliplay role kubwa sana kwa msanii Wisked L kwa kumsaidia kumconnect na producers wa South Africa licho kuwa yeye ni msanii kutokana na Jawia kuweza kumtengenezea tu sound ya kitofauti lakini pia hata kwenye interview ameweza kumsifia pakubwa sana kama msanii ambaye kupitia uwezo wake ilivyo mtengenezea uraisi wa kufanya kubwa kwenye muziki duniani msikia hapa Echo na bacho na kizungumza hii hapa ni SNS Minijen Asa ni 2008 So you signed Wizkid in 08 That's crazy Well so what happened was when we when I went to Africa after the World Cup we were looking for ways that we can take the local music and branch it off Right So at that time it was the local music was so traditional musically mm-hmm. that it wouldn't break outside of Nigeria Ghana anywhere right? right So we started adding like commercialized music and music like instruments around it like we commercialized a lot of it so it went from afrobeat to afro wow basically yeah you follow so once we did that then we signed we signed the whisket first then after that was another group called p square okay p square was two twins that came out of nigeria they became they ended up becoming the poster childs of afrobeat, afrobeat. at that time yeah. as a group they were the biggest streaming selling all of that but that was all of us, us pushing that point oh, wow forward. As that went more popular, Wizkid as a solo artist just became bigger and bigger because he had the the whole um fell out vibe. 